<laughs> Don't you always do that? Oh,
the first season. They moved and she wasn't able to come. So there was an audition and I'm Recovery Girl as well. I like how she bosses all my hair. All my I told you not to do that. <laughs> <laughs> they do. They're heroes. They put themselves in all Especially when they're next to each other. I know. Just like Jeopardy. I've watched a lot of it. Jeopardy's in their phone. This is awesome. What? We're going to fill this room. We are going to fill this room almost. Crazy pants. Bobby, why are you so far away from Jackie? Because Jackie is crazy. 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 So, uh, my name is Cooper Chapin. Do you guys know who I play? Hi, I'm Justin Reiner, and if you've heard of a little show called My Hero Academia, I'm Emily Down. And I'm Lucy Christian. And she voices recovery. Yourselves, um, who would you be? A hero besides ourselves. Hmm. I am a hero beside myself. <laughs> <laughs> if I could be a different hero, I would want to be Froppy. Yeah! Love it. Probably Totoro. Please. Please. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Are you Patricia? Pinky. Hi. Um, okay, so you can't say yourselves, but who, like the character you play, who is the best hero Fuck or him. villain? <laughs> <laughs> you can't say yourself. Yes, I can. <laughs> I just did. He's the only exception. Try again. <laughs> I'm the only exception. <laughs> Tree and Valid, try again. I think Mr. Aizawa. I have a two-part question. So, what was your favorite part about voicing the movie? And are you excited to do the second one when it comes out? Absolutely. Um, the best part for me voicing the, the, the movie was that, well, not only had I been living with it for so long, I premiered it in uh, Los Angeles when it came out in, in uh, Japanese. And so I had that in the back of my head for a while. But also just to tell the story with these characters, but in sort of a long-form narrative, is really cool. Uh, you're, not, you're not separated by waiting for an episode every week. Uh, it's, it's a full-fledged story with new characters and everything, and that's just really cool. It's nice to see the universe expanded in that way. 
As for the second movie, I'm sure I'll like it, but I don't know a dang thing what it's going Yeah, getting to do a movie is awesome. And certainly, like getting to have your work in the theaters, and it just gives people a different way to access our work, and that's always exciting. Uh, my favorite thing as far as like character moments and stuff, I like the, I'm going to avoid major spoilers in saying this, but I like the team up moment uh, between Bakugo and Todoroki. Um, where the... It's still a damn nerd. That's the sweat from my palms. Like, <laughs> But actually, what my favorite thing about the movie, uh, nobody knows this, I've never talked about this before, but um, my mom came down, uh, my parents live in New York, uh, my mom flew down to, to Dallas, uh, and she went to the movie premiere that we did in Dallas with me, and Aww. while she was with me, my dad went and saw it in theaters uh, in, New York, in New York, and uh, and it's pretty funny, because my dad is like, man, the, the theater was packed, and everybody was laughing and everything, and he's like, everything you said, people laughed. I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, that's what people like. <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that was kind of cool. My dad, my dad kept trying to be like, that's my son. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think, I don't think we have the people in the theater. <laughs> 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 that's cool. And I'm very excited for the second movie. For it. I think it's going to have a lot of cool. Just based on the poster, that's pretty much just Deku and Bakugo. I feel like we're going to have some cool stuff in that movie, so I'm really excited for it. I want to see what happens. I want to know. <laughs> Hello? Hi. Um, first of all, I love all of y'all, just saying, but I have a question. I love you too, but I have a question for Clifford, real quick. So, um, for Bahugo, you your voice, do you strain it a lot? <laughs> like a lot, a lot? <laughs> oh yeah. So like what do you do like when you have like a like a strep throat? I don't know. But. Like I I I try to do all Bakugo recordings on Fridays so that I can not talk over the weekend and um, recover. Uh, the movie the movie by itself took me like three sessions to record. And Bakugo's not in the movie for a lot. Um, <laughs> But it took me like three sessions to record because I, I lost my voice each session. So, because um, Bakugo screams so much. <laughs> anytime, anytime that there's something that's like not really from the manga, I just feel like they're like, you know what, Bakugo screams. Like, <laughs> and so like, it's like the bank heist episode is like that. Like that's not from the manga. Bakugo just screams the whole time. The movie Bakugo screams the whole time. Like, so, uh, that was really hard. Uh, so I know for a hard thing to record, wow. but um, yeah, my voice gets my voice gets messed up pretty much every single episode. So, oh, unless he's just like there for like the one line. Like, I think in the last episode of season two, I only have like I couldn't think of anything dumber. You know, like because <laughs> he doesn't want to go to the mall with everybody. <laughs> like that was an easy episode. To <laughs> but uh, yeah, any any other time, I'm. I'm you pretty much can assume I lost my voice before I Well, thank you for your service. <laughs> 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 Bodies with your classmate for one day, who would it be? Mama.
you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So, if you've ever read fan fiction of Bakugo, Deku, or Uraka, I read around. What's been your reaction? Is that your I'm so sorry. <laughs> Okay, my question is for Clifford. Uh, do you think the skull on Bakugo's t-shirt is a Punisher skull? <laughs> no, I think the skull on Punisher's shirt is a Bakugo. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Um, this is... So, we all know that Bakugo has a bunch of iconic lines. Mm -hmm. My favorite especially is, die, die, die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, I was wondering, could you all yell his iconic line in Japanese, like, shine? Mm. Like, from the top of your, not the top of your lungs, like, just yell shine. Could you do that, or is that a little too... Shine, shine, shine. <laughs> Good enough. Shine. 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 Yeah. Like, I'm sure a lot of them do, but there are some that I think actually do think it's shine. Yeah. <laughs> Japanese is a shine all the time. Shine. Because yeah. he makes explosions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, hi, um, 
Okay, so I do really love My Hero Academia, but th I have a question and a request from both um, Clifford and from uh, Briner, um, and that is, um, the question is specifically for, for Deku, as the actor. Um, you are also in um, Seraph at the End, and that is one of my favorite <laughs> My question on that is, um, what is your opinion on Mikaela and Yurichiro's relationship? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, like, do you think they should be a couple already, or do you think they're just family? Uh, no, they're meant for each other. <laughs> and, um, and my request is, you don't have to look inside it, but I need the actors for Bakugo and Deku to autograph this. <laughs> so, can she? Um, they have autograph sessions. Oh, okay. Then I will see you at the autograph session. Yeah. We have an autograph session at 530. 530. 530. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hi. Hello, Bakugo. Um, so I have a deep question. I'm really sorry about this. Um, I think all of us as cosplayers are all trying to learn how to love ourselves. So I was just wondering, what do you think your characters do to love themselves as a routine in the morning? Oh, like our characters? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, I think that uh, Otaku is a very... Like, frankly, I think Otaku is saved from being just like a really sort of sweet pink girl. Um, she's a very practical person. Um, she's, a, she's a really good hero. Um, I think, and you see that with her motivations for wanting to take care of her family and all of these things. And I like that when we saw everybody's room, Ochako's is not very girly. It's like just this kind of plain room. She's just kind of a practical person. Um, so I see her as if she was trying to do things to love herself. I would see her as a person who maybe has some aspirations, like that she gives herself some affirmations. Um, and she's probably just a pretty healthy person, being very practical. I don't know. And she values her friendships a lot, so I think she invests a lot in her friendships. Um, certainly, um, Tanya Ida and Deku, they're all very tight. Uh, yeah, I, I agree with the, like, the, the power of affirmation. I think it's so easy these days to, like, when you make the littlest mistake, you say, oh, I'm such an idiot, that was so stupid. Uh, the, the more that you encourage yourself and speak positively about yourself, even if you don't necessarily believe it at the time, uh, if you speak it into the universe enough, you will start to believe it yourself, and you will start to embody those things that you feel are, are exciting. So I think uh, just, you know, be honest with yourself and, and lift yourself up because uh, at the end of the day, you have to. Mm -hmm. I, I've kind of, I've said this thing like since I was in college because uh, I, I went through a really rough patch when I was in college. Um, and struggled with a lot of issues. Um, but happiness is a choice that you make every single day. You know what I mean? Every single person in this room has hardships and difficult things and bad things happen in their lives and, and uh, we all have down moments and down times and, and, um, and no one is exempt from that. So I always felt like when you see somebody who is a happy person, like you're always like, wow, they're so lucky, everything goes so well for them. And it's not really the truth because you know that they have, they have hard times too. Um, they just choose to move past them. They choose to not dwell on those things. Um, and, and that's, that was one of the most important things I ever realized in my life was like, negativity begets negativity and positivity begets positivity. So if you choose to accept that a bad thing happened or a negative thing happened, you can move past it um, more readily than dwelling on it. Um, so I kind of feel like, I, I feel like that's what all the characters in My Hero kind of have to do and mm -hmm. learn to accept anyways, because like we see that in the, we see that in the deck, uh, Deku versus Bakugo part two fight, you know, Bakugo's kicking himself so bad because he blames himself for something that's not his fault, but he doesn't know. And um, so I, I think that's a, le a lesson that everybody has to learn, uh, fictional or, or real. Mm -hmm. so. Thank you so much. You guys are amazing. Thank you.
everybody. Hi. Hi. Well, first of all, thanks so much for coming down. Um, so I guess I'm going to do a deep question just like my friend over here, Katja. Um, but I happen to be a very uh, nervous person, a very anxious person. And as an adult, it's kind of gotten a little bit worse where I'm having to apologize all the time. If a person like across the street falls, I apologize. <laughs> that kind of bad. Um, so when it comes to that, um, if you guys were shy or you guys were ever, ever had anxiety or anything that kind of made a blockage to advance, what did you guys personally do? What were your methods? We just spoke about uh, affirmation, and uh, what I've learned lately is that uh, anxiety and nervousness fires the same kind of synapse as excitement. So if you, you know, if you make it, if you're worried about something, if you're nervous about something occurring, and you're you're feeling anxious about it, if you just tell yourself a few times, "I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited," then <laughs> your brain will start to like it'll recode itself in that that synapse, and you will, I think, start to feel more uh, powerful, more engaged, and more ready to take on whatever you have to do. Um, there's a lot of power in language and words and, and just speaking to yourself, I think, because uh, our brains are strange. Yes, so, they absolutely. Are. And, and it really does, it really comes down to like, I, I can promise you, more actors than you would ever imagine are socially awkward and very nervous people. We're all very anxious because we, we live job to job. You know, like, I have a role this season, great, I'm working, but next season, who knows, and it kind of falls off. You know, like, everybody, everybody in this sort of career is very anxious in that way. Mm -hmm. And um, a lot, so we are constantly, like, having to step in and be like, we come and we meet all you guys at conventions and be like, okay, I have to be positive and happy and, and sociable and, and everything. You know, we, we all have to overcome those, those concerns. And um, a lot of it comes from, uh, at least for me personally, like uh, I don't really feel stage fright, um, but a lot of that comes from the fact that I'm like, hey, these people aren't here to, to hurt me or anything <laughs> like that. These people are here to like have fun, and and I want you guys to have fun. So uh, you know, it just it, it really comes down to kind of like what Justin was saying is like positive affirmation to disassociate the negative <laughs> association you have to that feeling will will eventually change it. So. I think one of the positive things too is there are lots of different ways to, to attack things and go about things. When I was young, I, I did get stage fright a lot. I still sometimes do. And as an adult, I say uh, stuff kind of got worse and I developed an anxiety disorder that I kind of had to stop and and figure out how, how to deal with it. And I ended up, I mean, I'm on medication. I'm grateful for it. It's wonderful. And if you need it, do that. <laughs> um, there are lots of there are lots of people. What I take comfort in is anxiety, fears, all that stuff. It is really common. We are not alone. Like it is a very very common thing, and a lot of people are going through stuff like that. So reach out. I mean, reach out and ask what is working for people. Talk to your doctor and be very honest about what's going on. The first time the doctor said, you have, you're having a panic attack, I was like, I'm not anxious! <laughs> I'm not an anxious person! I'm a very, I'm an efficient person. I've always been able to handle anything. It's very hard for me to accept. Um, but it's super common. And um, being shy is common. And being nervous is common. And you're in good company, if that's you. You're in good company. And there are lots of ways forward. There really are. Having good friends and people who care about you is is probably the biggest thing that's going to help. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Um, my question is, what is your favorite line that you've been able to record so far? What's your favorite? Die. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite, my favorite's actually um, the the sort of like monologue thing that Bakugo says to Todoroki during the sports festival. It's really long. I'm not gonna go into it. But it's the whole like it's the the concept of like if you're here, if you're gonna be in this tournament, then you need to put your all into it. Like if you're not gonna try, then why are you doing this? Like that whole message that I think that Bakugo has against Todoroki is so important. Um, very personal. It felt personal to me as I delivered it, so it's, it's always going to be one of my favorites. 
<laughs> I just yeah. talked to a girl on the phone! <laughs> Hello? Hi. Um, my question is random, but why is Bakugo shorter than Jojo Siwa? <laughs> <laughs> Actually have you a you look awesome. Thank you. <laughs> this is actually a request for Justin. It's like I love I love superheroes. I love the MCU. I'm pretty sure everyone's seen Infinity War and Endgame by now. And if you're up for it, I just want to hear Justin in Deku's voice say a certain line. I have it right here if you want to see it because I, I don't have it memorized. <laughs> like, uh, uh, Mr. Wright, I'm not feeling so good. <laughs> My friend's so jealous right now. Talk to nice. you. <laughs> um, Take that. Rub it in. <laughs> so, okay. so this question is about pretty much the characters in general. Um, so I, I know it's in store for season four. And aside from the, all the theories, um, what do you guys think is, is in store for these characters in the future? I'm right there with you. I read the manga, so I am. I mean, the chapter where Deku dies really caught me off guard. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, is 
it's a real high point. It was certainly a high point for me in the show. And afterwards, um, there's that moment. I think I think Gita is like, how dare you beat up a frail, defenseless girl? I think it's a. Uh, I think. Isn't it Kaminari? Oh, is it Kaminari? Kaminari. Then he's like, how dare you? And Bobby was like, she's not frail. Yeah. And from him, that's about the highest praise there is. Yeah. You know. Um, so I get it. I get why people would want to do that. I don't know that that would ever happen. But I get it. <laughs> I get it. I, uh, I personally, like, I just want Bakugo to get to the point that he does care about someone else other than himself. <laughs> I have two quick questions, if that's okay. Uh, first of all, the age-old question of My Hero Academia. Who is the best girl? tempted to say excluding Ochako, who is the best girl. Excluding Ochako, definitely Farmy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, that's great. Um, and question number two, uh, excluding the ones that are only in the manga, as of now, uh, who is your favorite villain? Yeah, I'm Team Sane too, so. Nice, uh, Thank y'all. Thank you. Hello. I'm a little nervous. Aw, it's okay. It's okay. Alright, uh, for Deku. Would you rather have your real dad in this reality or All Might? Ooh. <laughs> 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 I don't know. The thing with 
that his dad is so funny because he's just not been in the picture for as long as we've known him, and even in any flashback or any. So like, it's a long business trip. Uh, he went to go get milk. It's a long time. <laughs> What inspired all of you to start your career as voice actors? I was already an actor. I, I went and got two degrees in acting, and I meant to go to New York to be a stage actor, and I went to Houston to make enough money to go to New York, and got an agent there, and immediately started booking voice work, like commercial work and things like that. And I thought, what a great way to make money to go to New York. <laughs> and um, because of that work in Houston, I got an audition at ADV Films. Does anybody remember ADV Films? <laughs> yes. I went there and I did uh, a little part and was like, I'm horrible at this. They are never going to have me back. That was terrible. And the next week or two, they were casting, a brand new director was casting a show called Full Metal Panic. And I miraculously got the lead in that show and then was like, what am I doing? <laughs> um, and every good thing in this industry has come out of that one casting. So I, that was almost 20 years ago. stage and musical theater growing up, uh, I, and it was my, my first love, basically, um, and uh, I was going to school trying to uh, figure out what to do with a career, and I was, uh, I was in Denton, Texas at the time. Uh, I moved, moved away from Maryland for some new horizons, and yeah, I, uh, I just, uh, a handful of friends of mine were already involved with Funimation, they, uh, they sent my information along, and then I had an audition. Uh, that I thought I did pretty well in, and then I got uh, cast in something where I felt so horrible that I was like the worst actor in the world, um, and thankfully they called me back for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Uh, I did not want to be an actor. Uh, I wanted to be a director, and so I studied film and TV and stuff my whole life, and and that's what I did uh, forever. But I always really liked cartoons, and I started like learning a lot of trivia about cartoons and recognizing voice actors. Mostly about voice actors was like, I'd be like, oh my god, that guy voices that guy in this other show. And like, oh, all these people are Chris Savin. <laughs> <laughs> you know, stuff like that. So I started like recognizing voices. Um, uh, so that was just always fascinating to me, and that was like the kind of the point where I was like, oh, that's like a job that people. You know, like those voices come from somebody. And uh, uh, so then when I was in college, kind of like what I was talking about before, there was like a hard, a rough patch in college. Um, I was home on spring break. Uh, I could distinctly re re remember eating cereal at like an hour where cereal is probably not an appropriate meal. Um, and my dad just being like, you know, I always thought it was weird you wanted to go into film because your whole life's about cartoons. And I'm like, mid bite. <laughs> like, oh my God, you're right. <laughs> So I finished, uh, I finished going to film school and stuff like that, and, uh, and then I, I started, but I also started studying like voiceover, like speech comm and stuff like that. And um, I graduated and I worked on reality television for a minute, um, where I worked behind the scenes on, on various shows, including Toddlers and Tiaras. <laughs> and it, you know, you guys might be surprised to know this, but it sucked. <laughs> So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna oh, oh, not do this anymore. And uh, I was like, well, I've already been studying this other thing. And so I packed up my car and I moved from uh, New England we, uh, and drove across the country. And I have family in Dallas and I moved in with them for a little bit and beat my head against the wall uh, at the foundation <laughs> until I finally got an audition. And, um, and, uh, and then they never let me leave. <laughs> Somehow made it come around. Hello. Hello. I have two questions actually. First is like an in-character request. It's 
basically, can you all in character like compliment or maybe give an honest opinion on my character's quirk, the one I'm dressed as right now? Complimenting on your character's quirk? Mm-hmm. The, the one I'm... Uh, let me explain. It's, the pun basically is a, just to name a few of how I can do, he can basically... Basically... I'm sorry. It's okay. He basically can pick up, like, read others' emotions and feed thoughts and, like, look into their memories by just, by being near, by, by touching them or just being near them. Ooh, that's cool. Oh my gosh, I'd recognize that quirk anywhere. That's so cool. <laughs> I think a quirk like that would really come in handy. Um, you know, in battle, you could use that a lot of different ways. Um, uh, I guess it's okay. <laughs> And second, uh, with, with Briar being the voice of Luck from Black, yes. from Black yes. Clover, I've had this scenario in, in mind for a while. Like, what if Luck were to somehow run into and, and most likely challenge Bakugo? How do you think that would go down? Luck wins. <laughs> just let me have this one. Just let me have this one. <laughs> Teachers in UA, who would who would be your favorite? Who would be what? Your favorite, your favorite teacher. teacher? In, in the one I? It's midnight. <laughs> <laughs> I say present night. Yes. Yeah. I love uh, the principal. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. a villain in like the series, which villain would you want to be? Minetta. <laughs> I love Toga. Characters in the show, who would you think would be the traitor at UA? Oh, who's the traitor? Yeah, I'm a traitor. You know, it's Daku, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but I think it's funny that. Um, I think it's funny that some people might think that, like, that Bakugo is, is sort of a bad, not a bad character, but, a bad, but he's so. He's not working for anyone. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, he's got too much of an ego to be used for any purpose other than his own. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Which I love about him. They all have so much integrity, uh, except the traitor. Who that is. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't want him to be anyone. <laughs> I'll tell you, though, Caitlin was awesome. Caitlin plays Pinky, and she was like, I hope it's me. <laughs> She goes, what a fun character arc that would be. Yeah. That's an actor. I mean, that, that is the thing. It's like the actor in us is like, I hope it's my guy. Maybe it's Ochako. She'll just be like, I'm really sorry. There's no money. There's no money. There's no money. There's no money. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Hello. I just wanted to say thank y'all because you guys were my gateway to anime. My hero guys are it. It was my first anime. I've also been told to look up hentai. I don't know what that is. No. No. All right. I, I get the picture. Um, so how does that feel to be like a gateway to a whole new generation of anime watchers like new Naruto or Bleach? Like it's 
it's a big deal now to a lot of people who've never seen anime before, like me. So how does that feel to y'all? It's extremely humbling. Like, uh, to see the show explode with so much popularity lately, it's really cool. You know, you hear from, like, families who watch the show together and, and, and you know, little little children who are watching the show. And, and likely it's one of their first anime as well. It's, it's just really special. Like, it's a very accessible way to get involved in this really cool world. Thank you. <laughs> awesome, thank you guys. Thank you. Hi, um, I love you guys so much. Um, I have two really quick questions. If you guys could cosplay your characters, would you? No. <laughs> <laughs> it would be too uncanny with the beard. <laughs> you could do like a friend. I kind of already look like her. <laughs> it would not be, although I would be the same way. I'd be like, this is a little more form fitting than this. <laughs> um, and then for Lucy, I know that you voice acted in Orin High School, and I, I, I love that so much, so thank you, that was like one of my first animes. Um, how is this different from my or from Oran? Is my hero a little bit different, or you guys, you kind of have the same like tone? Um, so. it's, it's different, um, but I'll tell you, a lot of the fandom kind of feeling is the same. I do remember when we did the that were on sort of cast reveal at Anime Expo a number of years ago. And that entire place was packed. People were really looking forward to that. Um, and you know, the thing about Oron was that was one season. I can't believe it, but one little season all those years ago that still has this life. And I'm grateful that in our show, the characters are being given more time and more episodes to develop and go down. For Oron, who would have, who wanted a second season? We right? still All do. Of us. <laughs> and we got what we got. <laughs> At least so far. Um, more than two seasons. More than two seasons. Would yeah. Be. But thank you. I love that show too. That's also a very nostalgic show that was a lot of people's first show. Like I think my hero will be. For a thank lot you so much. Thanks. Woo. <laughs> Hi! Um, so my question is, besides yourselves, who is your favorite character overall? Froggy. <laughs> Todoroki. Katsuki. <laughs> besides Kasha. yourself. Nah. <laughs> well, thank you. Thanks so much. We got like five minutes. So let's keep We're doing good. Um, really fast. Yes. Is it okay if I ask um, the voice actor for Bakugo two quick questions and both of you two one quick question? Yeah, what? Um, so this is like an in character for Bakugo. How much Chan can a Kachan catch if Kachan could catch Chan? I think that Kachan could catch about um, seven Chans. Kachan would. <laughs> okay, second question for Haku. What would you do since um, Deku, aka Izuku's father, what had a fire cork? What would you do if he had a fire cork? Probably not be such such a meanie. Might even like not. We could be friends. No. <laughs> actor for Deku. Um, there was one scene where Todoroki and Deku were holding hands. How do you feel about that? And finally, Uraka. Um, who do you ship Deku with and also Todoroki with? Each other. Okay, <laughs> Todoroki, I ship him with Mama. No! <laughs> I don't agree with that. I don't agree no, with that. No, this is like, no! It's not right! <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> I ship him with whoever you ship him. Yeah! Okay. Oh, 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 o
Stay where you are. Y'all come here. What was like one of the most special moments for you during the anime for your character? Like, like something that meant a lot to you? Uh, it wasn't in the, in the anime specifically, but at uh, San Diego Comic Con two years ago, uh, Rikoshi Sensei was there, the author, and uh, we. It was his first, I believe, first trip abroad, and uh, he was doing a hero panel, and he got to like he just experience the, the love that exists for his work internationally. Like, it, his genius was on full display, and I think that that was really powerful just to be there with him, listening to him speak about this work that so many people love. Uh, that was really awesome. Thank you. My favorite, my favorite moment in this whole show, other than, I'm not even kidding, meeting all the people of, on, at the cons that are loving our show is very humbling and great. Um, in this show, I really loved the whole Otako Bakugo fight. For me, personally, for her as a character, I feel like you really saw, she would keep going. If she hadn't passed out, she was prepared to keep going. Um, and you really see what she's made of in that episode. And I loved it. I just loved it for her. Uh, every, every Bakugo fight, you know, there, yes. there are the few, <laughs> the few glimpses ones, right, where it's like, he fights Kirishima, and he fights Tokoyami, and like, those are very brief, and we don't get to delve into too much, but like, every other fight that Bakugo has turns out to be like, a very important moment, I feel like. Um, like, the first fight against Deku is really important. Yeah. The fight against Ochako is important. The fight against Todoro is important. When he's trying to escape from the villains, that fight's important. The second time he fights Deku is important. But, like, every fight that Bakugo needs to have is such an important moment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hi. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm, my heart is beating so, so fast. Sorry. Okay. Um, can you say, and I eat? No! 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 In your character voices. In your character voices. Just, and I eat. What does that even mean? I can't even understand what it is. I And I oop. And I What is it? And I oop. Am I about to? No. 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 no, no, no. Is it good? Yes, it's me. It's dumb, but it's funny. I was going to say no. <laughs> I thought I'd come up with a better question if I waited in line. I didn't, so, uh, hey, what's popping? Oh! That's my question. Uh, what is popping? What is what? Pop what is popping? Pop How are you doing? Are we just chilling? It's popping. Uh, we chilling. Yeah, I'm chilling. We are out of time. <laughs> oh, last question. Yes. This is our last question. I'm Hero. Oh, I have a good yes. one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I wanted to tell Justin that uh, I watched the show with my little brother, and Deku's his favorite. <laughs> and uh, my my question is, um, what is the most challenging like type of character for you to play? For me? Oh, well, all oh, of you. Right. Um, well, first of all, I'm so glad that your brother <laughs> have that. That's super cool. Uh, and that's what I love about the accessibility of the show. Um, Uh, screaming characters is really hard. Always <laughs> <laughs> uh, You may not expect it from listening to me, but like tough manly types. <laughs> Jay and Jay and Jay. Yeah. Oh, oh Villains like a like Medusa and Sully. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, guys. Thank you so much for coming.